Okay. Morning, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, please take your seat. Good morning and welcome. Rear Admiral Mays, friends, shipmates, and family members. I'm Commander Bob Barbie, NESJRB New Orleans Executive Officer and Master of Ceremonies for this unique version of historical, naval, uh, custom, and tradition, change of command ceremony. Uh, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you all, especially those of us that are, being, uh, that are joining us by the internet. I would also like to recognize and thank Captain Scarpino's wife, Patricia, for being here with us this morning. Today, Captain Tony Scarpino will relinquish the authority of command to Captain Todd Brewer. The pres presiding officer of today's ceremony is the Commander of Navy Region Southeast, Rear Admiral Gary Mays. At this time, Chaplain Bush will now deliver the invocation. Please join me for a word of prayer. Most gracious God, today we have gathered to witness the transfer of command from Captain Tony Scarapino to Captain Todd Brimmer. This is a time for us to both recognize and thank Captain Scarapino for his hard work and dedication to the men and women stationed at Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base New Orleans and look forward to the continued excellence this base will experience under the command of Captain Brimmer. We are grateful, Lord, for Captain Scarapino's leadership and mentorship over the past two years and the genuine care and concern he has shown for the sailors under his command. As Captain Scarapino moves on to his next assignment, may you continue to bless him with the energy and insight needed to be successful in all he does. As Captain Brimmer assumes the mantle of command, grant him the wisdom needed to lead well, and may he find comfort and peace from you in those lonely moments of decision. Bless this base in the days ahead, and may we all give Captain Brimmer the support he deserves as our skipper. This we ask in your most holy name. Amen. At this time, please take your seats. It is now my honor and privilege to present Captain Tony Scarpino, Commanding Officer, Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base, New Orleans. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning uh, for the folks that are here and those that are uh, joining us on uh, Facebook Live. Um, definitely, this is a uh, unique, unique experience for everybody. Um, you know, it is uh, my absolute honor and my uh, privilege to introduce a, um, uh, to a great man, to introduce our, um, Admiral Gary Mays. You know, um, Admiral Mays is originally from Indianapolis, Indiana. He went to uh, Purdue University. He actually played football at Purdue University, and he was telling me one time that one of his teammates was the great Rod Woodson, who played for the Pittsburgh Steelers, my favorite team, okay? And, um, and, and I, I think that you, you, know, you, mentioned, you mentioned you were faster than Rod, but, uh, but I, I kind of I question that. Um, uh, anyway, that being said, um, you know, he's had an incredibly, incredibly distinguished career. There's no questions about it. He's held command at uh, various levels. Currently, he's the... Uh, the, the, the commander of uh, Navy Region Southeast, which is the largest region in the entire United States uh, um, Navy Enterprise. Um, he also held command positions as commander, uh, Navy Region Northwest. He was the uh, commanding officer at the uh, Naval Air Station Coronado, California. And then he's also uh, a commanding officer of HSL 44. Um, interesting factoid about, factoid about um, at Rear Admiral Mays, he was an officer in charge um, during the Katrina efforts here in New Orleans, um, where he, uh, he helped with all the uh, um, rescue, search and relief, and humanitarian efforts that, that occurred during that time. So I'm sure he has fantastic stories. Um, another, uh, an, another very impressive uh, fact about uh, Admiral Mays is he worked in the White House. So that kind of shows you right there. Uh, uh, where they take the best of the best, and that's uh, that, that's really really cool. Um, you know, bottom line, bottom line is, you know, Rear Admiral Mays, he's a he's a stud, he's an absolute <laughs> stud. Uh, but but even though he's a stud, okay, he's he's I gotta tell you, you know, he's definitely not perfect, okay. And I, I I found some um I found one little instance where I, I think he lacks a little judgment, and that's his uh, judgment. He's a Dallas Cowboy fan. <laughs> not quite sure, but uh, I know uh, Captain Bremer is a Cowboys fans as well on my PAO, so I'm sure you guys will get along just fine. There you go. There you go. Um, with, uh, with, 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 uh, with that being said, um, 
Admiral, uh, you know, worked with a few admirals in, in my day, in my 25-year career, and I can say this with full sincerity, I'm not just blowing the smoke, you already signed my fit rep, okay? You are my favorite. You really are, and the reason why is because not only are you a, you know, a, a great man and you do great things as a, as a commander for us and have supported us so much, but uh, you're, you're, you're real. You're, 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 a, you're a real person who... Who, um, who, who's down to earth, and uh, you know what you see is what you get, and I respect the hell out of that. So, sir, thank you so much for your leadership, and um, and uh, totally appreciate you. Without any further ado, I'm going to turn it over to uh, to Admiral May. Let's give him a round of applause. Bremer will then read his orders and accept the duty of 
obligation and great joy of command. This is always done in the same manner, so there is never any question about who is in charge. And for the last two years, there has been no doubt that Captain Scarpino has been in charge. Captain Scarpino was responsible for all aspects of one of the most unique and important installations. As the regulations state, the responsibility of command is absolute, and delegation of authority shall in no way relieve the commanding officer of continued responsibility for the safety, well-being, and efficiency of the entire command. And that responsibility will soon be handed over to Captain Brummer. Tony, you have been busy. On any given day during your tenure, the air traffic controllers were coordinating hundreds of flight movements. National Guardsmen, Army Reservists were training for a myriad of diverse missions. The clinic was supporting thousands of retirees and family members, and security personnel were keeping our folks protected. The work that goes on there each and every day has a tremendous impact on our national defense strategy. You got the 377th uh, Theater Sustainment Command, home to the largest sustainment brigade in the entire Army. Those soldiers are training to support real-world combat operations with logistics and headquarters support at the tip of the spear or anywhere they are called to go. NASJRB New Orleans is home to the 159th Fighter Wing of the Louisiana Air National Guard and the Navy Reserve Strike Fighter Squadron 204 and the Coast Guard Air Station, New Orleans. I could go on, but that is just a brief look at the many important operational units who are able to conduct their missions at this installation. Because Captain, because Captain Scarpino and his team take care of everything else. You don't have to look far to see the impact of Captain Scarpino's efforts to complete renovation on the base. Improving the infrastructure of the spaces where we work is a fundamental task of the commanding officer. Our installations are aging, and we have to provide the leadership and put in the hard work to keep our facilities up to date. During the skipper's tour, you've seen the renovation of a huge water distribution repair project, the family recreation center, the base pool, the chapel air conditioning system, those projects will have an impact on the people and the future of NAS New Orleans for a long time to come. During Captain Scarpino's tour, this installation received numerous awards, including the full accreditation of the school age child care and youth program, the Navy Gateway and the Suites being accredited and earning the Admiral Zumwalt Award as a five star facility. The base received the second highest results in the Southeast region on the command assessment of readiness and training inspection. And the MWR program being fully accredited and recognized as one of the best in CNIC. All of these accomplishments reflect a high standard of excellence, uh, excellence but these kind of achievements don't just happen. They are the result of hard work by a team of professionals and stellar guidance from the top down. Tony, your name is synonymous with pride in this installation. You always took the time to meet with parish presidents, mayors, state officials, and the community at large to talk about Naval Air Station and its contributions to the area. You have done an outstanding job representing the installation and the close-knit community, and I know you will soon not be forgotten. However, and I've heard this from the local community several times, a few people say that you can feel free to take your love of the Pittsburgh Steelers <laughs> with you to your next duty. <laughs> These fans will be just fine without you waving. Complete <laughs> terrible task. <laughs>
the civilians, and the contractors. And it has been about the mission of providing the best possible support to the fleet, fighter, and family. Captain Scarpino's accomplishments have truly reflected our mission to enable warfighter readiness. Whether renovating facilities, enhancing training, providing top-notch service, or improving quality of life for our people and their families, everything he has done there has been directed at living up to and supporting the mission. I can say much more about Tony's commitment to the base, but I know my time is up, and Tony plans to use every bit of the three hours that he allotted to himself. <laughs> Thank you, Admiral Mays. And at this time, I'd ask everyone to rise. Attention to award. The President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Legion of Merit to Captain Anthony F. Scarpino, United States Navy, for service set forth in the following. For exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding service as Commanding Officer Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base New Orleans from July 2018 to July 2020. Captain Scarpino's superb engagement with the local community, persistent advocacy for infrastructure development, and dedication to the improvement of quality of life services solidified his reputation as a devoted and accomplished leader in Navy Region Southeast and a shore enterprise. He brilliantly oversaw public works, morale, welfare, and recreation, and conservation projects valued, valued in excess of $93.5 million, which increased the installation's plant replacement value by more than $800 million, and greatly enhanced the quality of life for installation service members, civilians, and family members. His inspirational leadership led to a 30% increase in Chief of Naval Air Training Aircraft Evolutions and the installation successfully hosting 25 domestic and foreign air defense detachments, ensuring Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base New Orleans' continued status as a premier full scale Department of Defense asset. By his dynamic direction, keen judgment, and loyal dedication to duty, Captain Scarpino reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the higher traditions of the United States Naval Service. For the President, Vice Admiral Mary M. Jackson, Commander, Naval Installations Command, Thank you, Ms. Patricia, for stepping in and fisting the award to Captain Scarpino. <laughs> and at this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Captain Scarpino to make his remarks. So, thank you, thank you. Um, Admiral, thank you for those extremely kind words. Um, you know, <laughs> you mentioned the band, and, and I got to tell you, you know, in this, uh, this new normal, um, it, it really hurt my feelings that I wasn't going to get a band because I didn't want to go off later on in life and the, the mass. So, so, so did you have a band at all your ceremonies, right? Not, and I, I didn't want to say, no, I didn't actually, okay, because I didn't want them to get the wrong idea. But you know what? I'm so blessed because my EXO is an incredible musician. I said, EXO, you got to be my band for me, buddy. So, so hit it up, EXO. <laughs> <laughs> so I did get my band. I did get my band for the record. 
Okay? I'm taking that home and I'm letting it, and that's my story I'm sticking to. All right. Therefore, therefore, um, you know, again, thank you so much, uh, Admiral Mays. Um, you know, first and, and absolutely most importantly, um, I wanna um, I wanna thank God. Um, you know, I have been and my family has been so incredibly blessed. Um, with, with uh, such incredible experiences throughout our entire life, but I got to tell you right now that the experience that I had here was definitely uh, one of the most uh, professionally rewarding experiences, and um, I give uh, all the glory to God for that. Um, I also want to um, thank God for my incredible family, my beautiful, um, I, I typically say my smoking hot wife, and she gets mad at me when I say in public, so um, my beautiful, uh, beautiful wife, I want to thank thank her, you know, we met back in college at, uh, at the University of Memphis, and how, how funny how it goes full circle, and I'm going back to Memphis um, uh, with her, but she's been with me uh, every step of the way for the past 25 years, she's uh, dealt with 13 moves, um, she's a uh, had to uh, endure many, many deployments. Um, uh, Trisha, there, there is no way I could have possibly have done this without you. Um, you are the love of my life, and I thank you uh, from, from the bottom of my heart. And you, um, you know, not only are you a great husband to me, but you're, uh, you're even a better mother uh, to our children. And um, I want to thank my children for and not only enduring all the moves that they had to deal with, um, but, but they thrived. They, they thrive throughout it, and, and that's, that's a tribute to you, sweetheart. Um, um, I know that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much um, for that. Obviously, I want to give thanks to my mother who's watching on Facebook Live right now. Um, I, know that, uh, I know that Dad's looking down from heaven. He is so incredibly, incredibly proud of, uh, of all of uh, my accomplishments, and, uh, and a tribute goes out to you, too, because I wouldn't have obviously been here without you as well. Um, you've, been a, you've been a great supporter of me and my family. Um, uh, you know, I, I had a, um, I had a unique opportunity typically to change command, traditional change of command. That's when you go ahead and you thank all of your department heads and you thank your sailors, you thank your civilian personnel. Um, but because they weren't unable, you know, unfortunately weren't un uh, able to attend in person, I, I thought it was really neat because we went throughout, throughout the week, we went to each, each and every single department and I had an opportunity to, uh, to, to kind of give a special thank you to all of my departments. And uh, the one thing that was uh, the common thing that I had for all of them was, you know, not only was this an, an incredibly rewarding, um, rewarding tour for me, um, but believe it or not, it was truly one of the easiest tours that I ever had. And the reason why is because my, my staff, top to bottom, from the triad to the department heads, all the way, all the way down to the deck plate, um, um, the guys who work in the deck plates, they have been absolutely incredible. They are such talented, hardworking, dedicated individuals, both civilian and sailors, that it really did make my job easy. As a matter of fact, there were times I'd, I'd sit back in my desk and, you know, I just, I kind of, prop my feet up on the desk when, when the door was closed, and I'd say, man, it can't be this easy. They're just doing everything, and they do it incredibly well, incredibly well. Um, so I truly thank all of them from the, from the bottom of my heart. Um, you know, uh, I mentioned the triad, and the triad tr traditionally consists of your, your CO, your XO, and your command master chief, but in, in our case here at NASJRB New Orleans, I call it the triad plus one, okay? And that, and that, that plus one is uh, a, a great man. Um, he's actually the, uh, the, the, the senior civilian here. He's our IPI, and that's a guy named uh, Mr. Sam Bacchion. Um, he is uh, he's a special man. Um, I've told this to him time and time again. You are uh, incredibly talented. You're smart. You got it all. And um, I am uh, I am, and the whole uh, team here and the base is so truly blessed to have you on board. Uh, we had some great discussions in our life. I typically won those discussions. And, uh, <laughs> and it, was, uh, it was just great, great having you here. Thank you so much, uh, Sam, for all you do. Uh, you, you truly are my, my brother from another mother. Mother, so thank you, thank you. Um, 
Uh, my command master chief, uh, Master Chief Billy Mason. His, his wife's actually our, uh, our ombudsman. She does a fantastic job as ombudsman. And I got to tell you, you know, she, every so often she, she brings in some of her, uh, her homemade pepperoni rolls and her, uh, her, her incredible cookies. Thank you for that. It's been, it was awesome. Um, but Command Master Chief Mason, uh, you know, th this guy's been in for almost 30 years, okay? And he's the epitome. The epitome of a just your, your salty dog sailor okay? <laughs> that, that, that knows it all, and, and you know, his, it, it almost it almost kind of made me mad sometimes because everything he predicted comes right. Okay, he can no kidding. It's incredible. He can he can see a sailor walking down the hall he never met. He can look at me and said that guy's not going to do good. <laughs> no, you, you just saw him walking down the hall. Another sailor walks on. That guy's going to be a rock star. <laughs> He's right every single time. It's unbelievable. Thank God we have very many uh, not good sailors. They're, they're, they're all fantastic. So uh, anyway, you're an amazing man. You've got a great heart, and uh, you, you've uh, you've raised some great kids. And, uh, and and thank you for all you've done for for us here at NASJRV New Orleans. Um, and then my, my right hand man, my 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 EXO, uh, the guy. You know what, what he what he lacks in stature and what he lacks in hair, he makes up in everything. Else, okay? That's uh, awesome. <laughs> he, he's, he's fantastic. He's fantastic. He always you know kind of makes fun of me. he makes fun of my hair and and this that and the other thing. But he, I, I tell him I said. XO, that's all I got going for you, man. I have nothing else. And, 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 he, and he, he says, you know, he goes, I can't be. I said, I said, I'm telling you, that's all I got. And I said, you know what? You know, you know, here's the, I'm not, you know, I, I didn't do very well in, in school per se. I was, I was a C student and this, that, and other thing. He goes, that can't be. I said, I'm telling the A students, hey, you know, here's the deal. The A students ultimately end up working for the C students, and the B students teach. And he goes, that can't be right. It can't be right. I said, how were your grades, XO? All A's. Of course I was all A's. <laughs> so tell me, am I right or wrong? Who's working for who? All right? Nobody likes you. <laughs> no, you're fantastic, man. I couldn't have done this without you. Um, you're my sounding board. board. You, uh, you're, you're, you're a great man. You make great decisions, and people love you around here. Um, no nonsense guy, and uh, I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you so much. Thank you're, you. uh, you're inheriting just an absolute great triad. So, uh, thank you. For that. Um, so wrapping things up, I do want to thank the, uh, the the local community. We call them the friends of the base. Uh, you know, everything, everybody around the uh, New Orleans metro area, area have been, they've been so incredibly supportive, um, uh, the, from, from the politicians to the, to the, 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 the Navy League personnel to just the business leaders in the community. They've all been so incredibly, incredibly supportive of this base. You know, they, they, they've taken us in, um, made us part of the community. And, uh, and, and, and I got to tell you that the, the Admiral alluded to it. This is a special, special place. Uh, New Orleans, I will always have a soft spot in my heart for this city. You know, what they care about is it really is what matters, okay? And what they care about, I call it the four S, okay? They, 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 they care about their, their families, okay? They're very family-oriented people. They, they care about their faith. I mean, you can't walk a, a half a block without running to a, a Catholic church, and uh, which is great. Um, they, they, they care about their food. Uh, hence, I, I've gained 15 pounds. And, uh, and lastly, they truly, they do care about their football. And um, even though uh, even though the Saints will always be my number two favorite team, um, they are uh, they're, they're 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 incredible people, incredible people. It's an incredible community. And again, I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for this, for this particular city. So um, thank you, all supporters of the base that are so happy to be watching on uh, on Facebook Live. Um, lastly, uh, Todd, I tell you what, man, you uh, I'm jealous. You're 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 you're. You're coming into a, a, a fantastic command. Uh, you have fantastic people working for you. You have all the support. You've got great support system up there at the region, and uh, there is no question in my mind um, you, with your with your with your talent, with your your um, desire to make sure that we maintain this this incredible thing we have. Um, you know. 
you're going to do outstanding. You're going to do outstanding. Count your blessings because this is a great time. It's going to go by super, super quick. Um, so just sit back every so often. Put your feet up on your desk and just soak it all in because it's wonderful. It's a wonderful experience, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching your success uh, throughout your, your tenure here. So um, with that being said, again, thank you guys so much. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I will uh, now go ahead and um, read my orders. Buper's order 3479, when directed by reporting senior, detached Naval Air Station, Joint Reserve Base, New Orleans, and proceed to Commander, Navy Personnel Command, Millington, Tennessee. Thank you. Captain Brimmer, now I'll read his orders. Buper's orders 0500, when directed by reporting senior, Detached from Navy Operational Support Center, Baltimore. Report to Naval Air Station, Joint Reserve Base, New Orleans, Louisiana, as commanding officer. I'm ready to be with you. I believe you. Sir, I stand relieved of NAS JRV, New Orleans. Very well. Congratulations. Sir, I have assumed the duties of the commanding officer of Naval Air Station, JRB, New Orleans. Very well. Congratulations. Don't screw it up, Omar. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Please take your seats. Good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you uh, for joining us for the small amount here live in the room and for everybody on uh, Facebook Live. I can tell you it's my, uh, my first Facebook Live um, ever. Uh, we're out in Mace. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for joining us today from sunny Jacksonville. Uh, it's got a near and dear place in my heart. For me, uh, it's where my wife and I got engaged uh, when we were uh, department head uh, out there in uh, VP-62 fighting broad arrows. Uh, I look forward to coming out there and meeting you uh, and your staff uh, once able. Um, I'd like to welcome all my uh, friends and family uh, out there on uh, the internet. <laughs> a little different, but uh, for all of you joining in, uh, thank you so much. I especially want to thank uh, Admiral Fuller for the kind note uh, this morning. Uh, it really meant a lot to me. I promise everybody uh, that the outgoing party will be uh, times two for all my friends that are out there. <laughs> But seriously, Admiral and, and friends, family, I'm, I just really want to say I am so privileged to have this opportunity, and I want to make sure everybody understands that. I am really, really privileged to be the commanding officer of this base. And I want to start first, Tony. Um, thank you. Uh, you have been unbelievable in this turnover. It's supposed to be in April. It got moved here to July. Um, I believe that you and I have worked so seamlessly together, and I'm about as comfortable as I can be uh, coming into this job. But as much of a professional as you are, it doesn't come close to how good of a person you are. All right, and that really leads right to your family. Uh, Trish, it was so, I felt like I knew you yesterday when I met you for the first time. Um, and the way that you talk about your children, um, I'm just truly, truly blessed to have you as a friend, and I really more look forward to carrying on our friendship and developing that down the way. You will. All right. My family, uh, unfortunately, is not here today. Uh, I want to make sure everybody here knows I live and die with my family. Um, I was FaceTiming them this morning. Laura, uh, my kids are up in Allentown, Pennsylvania right now, waiting to join us in about three or four weeks. Laura, I love you more than anything, and you know that I couldn't do anything without you. You're the heart and soul of our family, and what a crazy, awesome family it is. So thank you, sweetheart, and I can't wait for you to get down here. Uh, to my kids, Mary Grace, who just turned nine, heading into fourth grade, uh, Avery Ann, 
almost seven years old, uh, going to be going into first, and Connor Michael, five and a half, heading into kindergarten. Um, we're coming to live on the base. Kids, I am so proud of you, and I, I know the community can't wait to meet you, and uh, you're going to do great things down here in New Orleans. Uh, give mom a break until we get down here in a couple of weeks, okay? I love you all very much. Uh, to my mom and dad and my sister and her husband Steve and my two nephews Andrew and Nathan who are back in St. Louis watching, um, your support means more to me than you'll ever know. Um, I tell my, my parents each day it's, uh, it's real easy. I just wake up and I still just try to make them proud. And that's what guides me, all right? There is no, we do have a UCMJ, but it's really what would my mom do? All right, and, uh, and I really appreciate that. I love all of you so much. And I have to say to my in-laws, Dave and Marianne, who are like a second set of parents, uh, my family is gonna end up spending six weeks with them up in Allentown. Uh, without you and your support, we could not function as a Navy family. So I am indebted to you, thank you so much. Uh, to the New Orleans community, I can't wait to meet you. Um, I will be coming out to see you individually. Um, I've, I've been out just a small amount. We are so excited to join this outstanding city and everything that it stands for. And I truly mean that. We all are going to have some healing to do uh, once we get past uh, the situation we're in. And we will heal together as a base and a community. And I look forward to working with you to do that. To the tenant commands who aren't here right now but might be watching in, I want you to know I've got to meet about half of you and I'm truly impressed. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I will work with you and try to do as much as we possibly can. If I can, I will. And if not, I'll be open and honest with you on why we cannot. But I really look forward to making these relationships and really in the end to support the mission and take care of our sailors. And I hear the things that, that we're able to provide to our sailors down here. And thank you for that. It is outstanding. And we're going to continue to build on that. So just know that you, uh, I cannot look, uh, wait to look forward to working with you and keep making this place better. Now, finally to my staff and to all of the people that work here on the, as the base personnel. It's a little different, as uh, Captain Scarpino said. I got to meet each of you by department, and I have to tell you, I was truly impressed. Uh, I want to thank you for welcoming me, for all of your professionalism. Um, and because you guys are here in the room, you know, but it's not uh, not leaving anybody out. But I gotta tell you, EXO, you have been outstanding. I thank you for everything. Uh, we're gonna have a blast together. Master Chief, the last eight months in the Navy, I am getting lucky to spend them with you. And I truly mean that. So. Uh, we are gonna have a blast. And Sam, already you went around with me above and beyond throughout the entire base. I don't know another uh, civilian employee that would have done that and I, you, I already told you I don't look at you as that we are all one team here um, and that's how it goes um, I will do everything in my power I will give you everything that I have and in three years I will walk out of here and I promise you that I'll leave everything on the table and that is my plea to you and with that I am just extremely honored to be your new commanding officer. My first one will be all instructions, directives, and policies will remain into effect. Thank you, Captain Brimmer. Chaplain Bush will now offer the benediction. Please join me for a closing word of prayer. Eternal Father, as our ceremony comes to a close, we ask for a special blessing on the Scarapino family as they move on to the next chapter of their Navy journey. May they be blessed with time spent together and many years of joy and laughter. As the Brimmer family joins the NASJRB New Orleans family, may we welcome them with open arms and may they find this time filled with wonderful new experiences and blessings from you. As we depart, grant us strength to face whatever comes our way and may we not grow weary in the face of uncertainty. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Admiral, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the official change of command ceremony for Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base New Orleans. We'd like to thank all of you who were able to attend virtually and those of you that were in the room. 
Captain Scarpino, Captain Bremer would like to express their appreciation for the Change of Command Committee to their efforts in making this a success during these challenging times. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Thank you.